Hello and welcome to Access, Rutland County's Community News Magazine. Brought to you by your local healthcare provider, the Rutland Regional Medical Center. I'm your host, Amanda Wheeler. Coming to you today from outside the PEG TV studios in Rutland. It's been three years since Access first launched in September of 2010. Since we first aired, Access has not missed a week, bringing you information about what's happening in Rutland County. Today we celebrate our show's anniversary and its growth. We're taking you behind the scenes for a look at what goes into making Access a success and the key players in getting the show on the air each and every week. Every week, Amanda Wheeler, Mike Wines, Bryn Williams, and Stacey Kent are out in the different communities across Rutland County, bringing stories to you at home. Three years ago, Access opened its wings and flew on the air. With hopes of bringing positive information, events, and bits of culture to Rutland County about Rutland County. Access was designed based off a need. We did what any responsible organization does. Uh, community needs assessments, surveys, and what we found out was people were looking for more local information or news. A lot of research went into what we were going to do and how we were going to accomplish this. PEG TV Executive Director Mike Valentine, along with board members, spent countless hours examining how PEG TV could develop a show that suits the need. After visiting local television studios at Linden State College in Castleton, PEG TV quickly realized it didn't have the resources to be a daily news station with live shows each and every day. Out of that discovery and through much discussion, a different type of show was developed, what you now know as Access. The show is hyper-local, meaning we only cover topics within Rutland County. Access gives PEG TV a new tool to get out in the different communities and find out from residents what topics are of importance to them. And it's a lot more interesting be out, being out in the community, in the county. It, it just, it, it's a lot more interesting. And yeah, a lot of these places don't have the time to send somebody from Fairhaven to the studio or from Brandon down or Killington. So yes, we're going to them. We make house calls. Access is a large undertaking that takes four of us to get on the air each week. The concept of the show begins with a brainstorming session. From scouring local events to what health news is of concern to nonprofit organizations that need some help informing the public of a training course or event taking place, Access is the avenue for different topics the public needs to know about. From there, Mike, Bryn, Amanda, and Stacy grab cameras and film interviews and video. From there, we upload all the footage and Amanda begins logging the sound bites and writing the stories. Once they're written, it's time to edit. Mike and Bryn edit the different stories, and then Stacy puts the show together. Access is a team effort all the way around and stretches the station's budget. And even though we're not doing a hard news kind of presentation, we did discover that it stretches our limited resources. We're a nonprofit organization as well. So we're experimenting in something we've never done before, underwriting, sponsorships. And this way, we have a sustainable product. And it's extremely important that it's sustainable and self-sustainable. So we've had some organizations come forward and just grab hold of this idea. This year, three local organizations signed on to make sure access stays on the air. The Rutland Regional Medical Center, Ravna, and Castleton State College. It's because of their support that viewers at home get a show specifically about the area in which they live and the neighbors that surround them. 